Hello everyone, I'm Kroms and welcome to a new series. We're gonna try Lamplighters League, which was released almost two weeks ago. I didn't have time to play it back then, but I have a few friends that have asked me to try it out, so I will do that. So what is this? I have played for around 45 minutes and tried the mechanics, and I would say it's quite similar to the XCOM series and also Phantom Doctrine that we have been playing on this channel before. It's been developed by Hairbrain Schemes and the publisher is Paradox Interactive. Recruit a team of misfits with unique abilities and unforgettable personalities and chase the banished court to the ends of the earth in a mix of real-time infiltration, turn-based tactical combat and a character-driven story of adventure and intrigue. There have been some mixed reviews, but mostly positive, so that sounds really promising. Enough talking, let's start a new game. So there are three difficulty settings. It's the Explorer for easy, the Adventurer for medium, and the Survivor for hard. Since we haven't played this game before, I will go with medium. Courier's late. Hey! Hey. <coughs> You're uh, welcome. Well done. What's your name again? The Gentleman Jin. At your service. Hmm. And we're married to that name, are we? What's wrong with my name? So, the courier, was he taken or killed? And he also dropped the letter there. So I guess we will find out what happened to him. How about I find our missing courier? You stay here and guard my back. So you can get the baggage yourself and cut me out of the job. Ah, nice try. Whatever you say, gentleman Jin. Was that so hard? But that's my professional name. You. Can just call me Latif. Yeah, so this first part of uh, of this mission is to just learn. So it's a short tutorial. Uh, you can move, rotate with uh, E and Q. You can use the buttons to uh, move around or you can click. So you decide uh, what to do. You can sprint by holding shift. Uh, if you sprint, we make more noise. So we need to be careful. We can also split them up, uh, changing character by tab, and hit the G to group and ungroup. And we can send them away in different directions if we want that. Oh, there is something over here. Let's regroup and see what we have. A city at night. Dark shapes move on the far bank of the CN. Other people, other lives, other reasons to be out this late. Well, I guess we head over here, because there is no other place to go. So, how long have you been working for Ed? As long as you have, I think. So, about three hours. Got it. A horn at night. From the apartments beyond comes the melody of a French horn, faint but bold against the city's murmurs. Most doors can be open one way or another. You're playing in infiltration mode where agents move in real time around the map. Agents have real time roles, either sneak, bruiser or saboteur. So uh, Latif is a sneak and Ingrid is a bruiser. The door ahead is bolted from the other side, but as a sneak, Latif can clamber up the nearby netting and then unlock the door for Ingrid. So let's change, let's split up, and we climb up here. 
we climb down and open the door. Oh, you waited for me. Didn't have much of a choice. Let's go. Breaking walls. Ingrid is bruiser and she can take down weakened barriers. How's that for a kicker? The trick is wanting it bad enough. Here is the courier. Look, there's the courier. Uh, he's sleeping? <laughs> I don't think so. Nope, he's dead. And no sign of the package. All right. So much for an easy job. The poor guy's still warm. The package can't be far. Tomorrow's issue of Le Petit Parisien already fills the stand. March 4th, 1932. So it's uh, Indiana Jones era. Uh, the first movie anyway. In the 30s. A letter from our employer. My it's agents will meet you as arranged and I expect you will deliver. Why else would you write our mutual friends about discovering the cards? Surely you know he would write to me. So sell me the deck. And be done with it. Do not stand between me and my revenge. Do we have anything over here? Or is it a dead end? Well, there is something here. In the window. The display window for this used bookstore bears two posters. One is an advertisement for a new brand of Spanish gramophone. The other offers a warning. The she-beast is coming. Okay. Yeah, it looks like a dead end. So let's head back here and we will run in the alley here. Yeah, there's a ladder. Another of those masked soldiers on the roof. Who are they? No idea. But 10 francs as one of them has our package. Uh, there's a lookout up ahead in a well-defended position. Get too close and the agents will enter the guard's field of vision, causing him to become suspicious. A frontal attack is an option, but not the only one. Scoundrels like Ingrid and Latif can handle certain threats while staying silent. As a sneak, Latif has several advantages during infiltration. But not grouped with other agents, he moves more quietly and can approach enemies from behind. So let's try that. You go over here. You change to Latif. Wait, wait. And you can see that the field of vision changed. If we go back to Ingrid, you can see that he will suspect or hear her. But let's if we use Latif. He can sneak up behind. And he also have a special ability. Takedowns. During infiltration, can you use takedowns? And uh Latif have this ability called Sucker Punch. So if you go up behind, you can use the Sucker Punch. So much for him. Boom. So we have three these of these uh, for every mission. An hour ago, this was a cakewalk. Now we've got the dead courier and goons in gas masks. So we need to be careful and uh, maybe not use them on the easiest enemies in case there are harder enemies further down the road. So it's always good to save one. Uh, below is a lone watchman, slouched in a chair, fast asleep. Beside him is a spirit board. The planchette points to the letter H. Interesting. Slam! Two guards up ahead, too many for a sneak to uh, for a sneak to sucker punch. But bruisers like Ingrid can use slam to take down up to three targets at once. So. Let's change to Ingrid. Stay Let's regroup. Push. You go up here. And then we use the slam. Oh, he starts to notice. So, boom, boom. Well. She took him down. And let's regroup. Oh, he doesn't come. So, do you have to go inside that area, maybe? Let's move. Yeah, okay. I guess we have more enemies up ahead. <laughs> what are you doing? Another flunky. Perhaps we can slip past them. Suspicion. Make too much noise or enter a field of vision and enemies will become suspicious. Yeah, we need to be careful. Using cover. Sneaks have an extra trick up the sleeve. When ungrouped and next to any cover, sneaks are cloaked. 
So that is interesting. Let's try that. So let's see if, yeah, if you go there, you are cloaked. Let's regroup and see if we can sneak. Where are you jumping over that? We guess we're heading over here. Seems so like there are two over there. Yeah, the gas mask wearing half. Ambushes. Sooner or later, it will be time to fight. Best to do it on the agent's own terms. Position the agent, then enter turn-based mode with control. Choose that opening attack carefully. As soon as enemy becomes aware of the agent presence, they'll take cover, making them hard to hit. All agents get plus 15 to hit bonus in the first round of combat. Interesting. So, Ingrid, let's... Hang back. You go here. That, what? I didn't want you to <laughs> go over there. Can you hide? And then we send you over here. So the question is, should we try and run forward with you? I don't want to use this. We save that for later. Yeah, let, let's try and uh, do that. And then we go into... We're going loud. And you punch him in the back. I'm not here to play games. He ran away, but you have one more action point. And then it's you. We got 65 to hit him from here. Yeah, I will take this. We can shoot twice. And we got him. The sooner we find this package, the better. So he's lying there. We he didn't drop anything. I'm not sure if they drop things. Oh, we have more enemies down here. So you have two of these sucker punches left. Maybe we should use them. Let's send you over here so you can hide. Change to Latif. You go around. Yeah, we'll use the cover. So we go up behind him and do a sucker punch here. If we can reach him. Now you see the guard, we did. And now you don't. Yeah, and then we have this guy. I will use the last one on him as well. Go. And then we go. We send you over here. And we regroup. Follow me. So, what's he like? L, I mean. He has neat handwriting. <clears throat> and he pays well. You've never met him either, huh? Oh, I bet our package is inside one of those crates. Are you coming? Uh, the trucks to go. Then we need to move fast if we want our payday. Oh, they're actually patrolling in a line there. Maybe we can use Ingrid's special ability to uh, take them out. Uh, let's regroup. Yeah, you can actually sneak all the way over here. Why don't you hide there? But now you're cloaked. Yeah, it's these four, and these two are patrolling. So, it looks like they're coming back. So let's sneak up behind them, and then we use this and take them both out. It could work. So, you go up behind them, and boom. And they didn't notice. Oh, wait, what's this? Mission report, Magister, mission success. Lady Nicastro has retrieved the deck. Departure is slightly delayed as we wait for her to finish praying. I've already sent a cleanup crew to follow in her wake. Given tonight's excitement, I told them to expect at least three more bodies. All right, so. Yeah, I don't know. What, what should we do? It kind of worked what we did last time. 
you have no there yeah either have any of their abilities left so i guess i will run forward hit control and then we we take it from there so you run Jesus. oh we alerted i didn't have time to do that but we will try and let's move here and then you have another oh I regret that it came to this he's almost gone let's see if you can what do you have 60 percent I think I will have to try we'll try to take him out and we did you really it was even a crit me? do that again I would just set up an overwatch maybe because he will move I think let's hope he does yeah he shot him in the back oh he shot back well I guess that's fine and you can also see that there's a little tiny thing here and that is stress so every time you get shot at this adds on the stress level and when it's maxed out you will run around and we can't control uh control that so i think you are in a pretty good place it's only 50 though so maybe if we move here we will get a little higher percentage maybe 80. and we got him we still haven't seen whoever carved up the courier hey i have an idea let's leave before the butcher shows up Right, we have the package. the package. Then it's time to go. Looks like nothing else, so let's head in here. And this is exactly like in the Phantom Doctrine. After the end of the mission, the you head to this kind of place for a pickup location. I'm going to open this package. I think we deserve to know what we just risked our lives to steal. I won't tell. And Mr. L hired us to retrieve plane cards. Blank? Cards? A troop of uniformed mercenaries killed a man for a deck of blank playing cards. Not what I'd call a winning hand. It will be when we trade it in to Mr. L for our paycheck. This is the place. From here we catch an airplane that takes us to L. Can you fly an aeroplane? Because I could probably figure it out, but... Let's hope the contact we're meeting knows how. <laughs> Over the slimy salt tang of the ocean wafts, the delicate floral scent of fresh oranges. What's... It looks like we can interact, but... Ingrid's car. After a breakneck drive from Peru to Marseille, the car's hood is hot on the touch. Gas masks from Paris are here too? Impossible. There's no way they got here before we did. So there is this recon. We can actually, if we click this, we can move freely and see how the area looks. Dynamite crates. We can shoot at this and it will explode. Uh, here is an enforcer. Abilities is burst fire. And then we can go back to normal infiltration mode. Guarding. This enemy is on guard, indicated by a yellow eye icon over his head. Enemies on guard won't move from their post, but they may call their buddies over to investigate on their behalf. They're also more alert and quicker to catch infiltrating agents, even sneak who approach from behind. So I guess we won't do that. Agents can hide in tall grass, making them harder to catch. So, let's uh, split up. We send you over here. Oh, let's move out of the way. Did he saw you? I don't know. Hazards. The crate of explosives is very close to a pool of flammable oil. Yep, yeah, we'll try and use that. Let's 
We can eavesdrop. Cold night tonight? No, it's not. That's just what happens when you step through the crossroads. Fastest way to travel, but turns you bloody colder than a ghost. So if we go here, if we go into turn-based mode, we can aim at the crate and he's just outside the area. Should we go for it? Or he might take damage actually. We'll, we'll see. What happened? Did he... Uh, it looks like he... Yeah, he's alive. Should have waited there. And then we have... We know that this guy is here. So if we... Go here. And then we move up behind him. We punch him. Unfortunately... Uh, you... Uh, yeah, you have one action point left. I think we will just set up an overwatch here. I don't think you will run through the fire, though. Maybe all that stupid. Let's do that. Oh, he shot Ingrid. Run away. That was a miss. Oh, we have a crate there. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking... Let's go here and punch him. You break easily. And then we use this last one for evade. Yeah, I should have waited for another turn. Only 25%. Let's see if we can get in a better position here. Yeah, I, I, I will move here. We use both. But we have... Double evade. She evaded. He is running. He is coming as well. And he missed. Yeah, you see the stress scale there is... Is increasing. We got another... We actually got an extra. Uh, I will move up here. And we will use that evade. He is in the open, so let's move here. You have one eva evade already. So the question is, should we set up an overwatch? Come on, come on. Make a move. Yeah, we got him. She evaded. Oh, and he hit her. Well, I guess that crate is too far away. But I will move up here. Should Yeah, you have an evade, so I will actually do an overwatch here. The question is, what do we do with you? Maybe, let, let's move over here. Um, maybe we move, we move further back and we use evade. We don't want them to shoot at her anymore because I think both of them must move. Yeah, we got one of them. Um, we, yeah, okay. We, yeah, but he's standing by the crate, so that is good. So let's shoot the crate and he's burning. He's, he's still alive. But I think we, we, we're we good. You will move here. Evade. He will take burn damage. We can move. Well, you can probably reload. Let's do that. We're going to take fire damage. And it's it's our turn. And he, I think he is dead. 40%, it's too low. Let's move up here. We should get a higher percentage. 80. And <laughs> you actually missed. Yeah, I don't want to do anything. Let's do that. I think he will take fire damage and die anyway. 
Uh, let's end phase. No, he didn't. All right. Who are these goons? Secret police? Communists? Anarchists? None of those seem to fit. This is something else. We have something here. Mission report. The page is flecked with the small red dots. Captain, we found a suitable candidate for the finding and Lady Nicastro was able to perform the ritual. She says the entrails indicate Marseille as the thief's destination. We are preparing the mobile crossroads beacon now. Note, apologies for the stains on this letter. This is the last time I stand downwind during a finding. All right. Let's move up and see what we have. There's something here. Shipping container. The metal is blisteringly cold. Far too cold for French night in March. From within comes a faint mechanical hum. Oh, there is someone. Ah, is it... Mr. L sends his regards. Is it the pilot? Make contact. Y'all got the package? That depends. Are you the pilot? Me? No. I'm the guy who's gonna get you to him in one piece. Eddie is a saboteur. Saboteurs can pick locks and use shock mines to take down enemies during infiltration. The door is uh the door up ahead is locked. Switch to Eddie to pick the lock and open it. Alright. So here is Eddie. Be on the lookout for useful items in the world. Agents, agents can pick up car and carry useful items in the inventory. Anything an agent picks up is displayed in the inventory slots on their ability tray at the bottom of the screen. Items like medkits are usable in both real-time and turn-based. Okay. To drop an item, select and press I. Bandages. You are actually injured. Maybe should we use that right away? An incident report translated from French. Remy Allard, Steven Dor. At or around 2100 hours, a troop of unknown soldiers entered Dock 94 of Vieuxport de Marche without warning or authorization. I have attempted to contact the Gendarmer. <laughs> Gendarmer, yes, I have no idea. But no one has responded. The leader is, the report leaves off here in a blot of ink as if the writer has been called away mid-sentence. Interesting. So we could probably use this, use bandages. I shouldn't have to do this Boom. Uh, nothing there. We have a door here. Can anyone open it? Yes. Didn't catch your name, cowboy. Eddie Sawyer. Pleased to meet you. They call me the gentleman Jim. Sure thing. Your turn, sister. Just Ingrid will do. Let's keep moving. Oh, I see noises there. Shock mines. During infiltration, saboteurs can throw shock mines to lure an enemy out of position. Those who come to investigate will find themselves on the receiving end of a deadly electric current. On destination, shock mines will also electrify water and ignite oil. That is good to know. Okay, let's see if we can hide here and use uh, someone. You go there, Latif. You can hide there and you will be cloaked. Eddie, you go there. So let's try and sucker punch him. If we can get there in time. You just don't pay attention. Do we have... Okay, here's water, I guess. Uh, let's go and right this grab way. these. We have something here. Oh, we have enemies. What do we have over? Oh, there is even more. Um, but that looks like an. Who these gas masks are, Sawyer? Seems like there's a new militia. Every and week he is days. alone. Let's see well, if we can sucker punch a few. You go there. 
Ingrid, you go there. So he is cloaked when he's standing in that grass. I will try and get up behind him and suck a punch him. Oh. Oh, there is one. Are you just standing there? Do we have anyone else here? No, it looks uh, empty. Here's something. Bandages. I found something useful. Nice. I didn't even steal it. Always good. Always good to have. We have water here. Are you still standing there? That creepy lady? No, she's not. Oh, we have something here. Uh, we already have bandages, so let's use someone else. We send Eddie to pick that up. Let me see. Okay, she's actually a firebomb. Shame. Someone left oh. this line around. Is she coming? No. She is standing over there. All right, let's send them over here and uh, regroup, and we will go here. So we can climb up here. Who should we have on top? Cool your heels. Should we use Eddie, maybe? Can I click here, or do I have to click the climb? Optional areas. Ahead is an operational area. The agents don't need to enter it to complete the mission. In fact, doing so may make victory even harder as the area is crawling with patrolling guards. But optional areas may also contain valuable rewards. Infiltrate, fight, or avoid them entirely. It's a gamble either way. Okay, so we could probably go around that way and skip these guys. One, two, three, four. There are five. Oh, you did join. I don't want that. I want you down here. Come on, can you climb down, please? So, you go there. Latif, you go here. No. I want you to go there. <laughs> Should we uh, try and use one? Of okay, he is there. Let's use this one. Hey, what's that over there? It's in the water. And they shocked. Let's hit control. And let's start shooting. So, oh, that's that short. Uh, let's see if we use that one. Dual pistols. So we can assign and shoot several targets. So I will add the first one. Let's see. We can go. Yeah, it's these two. So we got 100% of hitting him. So I will add him as target one. And then we'll add him as target two. And we hit them both. Enemies alerted. And you can do some more shooting. Let's do another one. I will add you as target one. Uh, this is target one and this is target two. And you missed the first one. You hit the other one. Ingrid. You could probably take him out if you go. Let's go here first. And then we move you up here. And you will punch him. And you got it. And we got one action point back. Which means we can activate evade. Then we have you left. What percentage? 70%. Let's go. We got it, and we do another one. Uh, we could actually do an Overwatch. No, let let's try and take him out. And we got him. Enemy turn. Next. Yeah, we evaded. He's moving forward. He's quite far away though. He took some shock damage. So I guess we we will try and move forward here. First, you need to reload. So let's do that first. 
That means we have one action point left. Uh, we can just set up an overwatch here if he tried to come closer. Can you? You can actually shoot him. 90%. So we shoot him twice. We hit the first one, missed the second. And we do... Okay, we need to reload as well. And then we have you. You see the stress level is pretty bad. Uh, let's move over here. And we do evade. And we see what they're doing. He moving. Okay, he's moving. That's good. And he ran into the overwatch. Oh, he didn't. He stopped just at the edge there. Alright, so I don't think we can re... Yeah, we can actually. Should we try it? No, it's probably more efficient to use this. We need more enemies. So I will aim at both. And we hit both. And we do a second one. At target, at target. I <laughs> hit them both again, but they're still alive. What do we have here? 65 or 35? So let's do this. We will move forward here. That would probably give us a better... And we got evade as well. 85 and 55. So let's go with the 85. He is gone. The question is, can you reach? Probably not. No. So we will just evade here. Nice. Alright. You, uh... Let's move here. And then you punch him in the back of the head. All right, nice, area clear. Let's go here and bring them all down. Oh, there's, oh, okay, here's where we found Eddie. So we could have gone in this way instead of going around. All right, I guess it's, it's fine. So then we have these ladies, I guess. We will get to them now. Oh, we have bandages. Press you grab here. that. Latif, you already have bandages. And you have that, so we can't bring that. What is this? A f another firebomb. Okay. Harbolog, translated from French. Quai 94. Uh, is that Pier 94? I don't know. Arrived March 3rd, 1932. Craft sea airplane destination... Designation, Vaudeville Gina, Captain Nicola. So I guess that's the captain we're gonna... Or is it the pass? Is it captain or pilot? I don't know. Port of origin, Valletta. That is on Malta. Passengers 1, American. Addendum, the pilot of this vessel is an alleged smuggler wanted in the United Kingdom for transport of illicit materials. No action to be taken at this time. Let the Brits see to it. Addendum 2. Constantaras passenger also has a warrant of arrest in the United States. No action to be taken at this time. Well, what do we have here? Why don't we use you and you open this door and we see what we have here. If you go here. Whoops. Get out of here. So, will she... Okay, good. Yeah, let's uh, do a slam dunk takedown here. Sucker punch. Okay, there are two there. They are actually standing in water. And we have this firebomb as well. Um... I will send you up here. Maybe... Oh, dude. Don't stand there. Oh, crap. 
Yeah, I forget that when I switch character, they just stop. They don't continue their move. Uh, so that is uh, something I need to learn how to do. So Eddie, you will move up here. Behind cover. Should we just do an overwatch here? She's quite strong. Got an eye out. Let's do that. You are in a pretty good... Wait, what, what, what was that? I haven't tried this. Decoy. Signature ability... Latif sets 120 HP decoy in a cloud of smoke, becoming invisible and moves to a sel selected location. Nearby enemies attack the decoy for two rounds or until destroyed. That is something cool that we should try, but maybe not now. We will do... Should we start shooting at this guy? No. Let's go for the closest one. Or maybe... Let, let, let's wait. Let's use Ingrid. Yeah, you are already stressed, but I think I will move. I will move up here, and then we attack from here. You should have cover there. You got a hit, and then we have you. Let's. Oh, we got a crit there, so we killed her. That's good. And I will set up an Overwatch here. Got one hit there, and another there, and we got her! Alright, that worked. Okay, there is the key. Some doors can only be opened using keys. Once the agent pick up a key, any of them may use it to open the corresponding door. And we have some bandages there. We didn't take any damage. And we have already cleared this. So, we have a lot of bandages lying around. And a firebomb as well. Uh, I'd love to be able to collect those, but I guess we can't. Yeah, but we, we can't take that. Alright, so let's regroup and let's open this door. Here I go. And I actually think that this is a pretty good place to airport. end this first episode but we will continue in the next episode if you like this one please give it a like i will definitely play it some more see you in the next one bye bye